Indonesia merupakan surga makanan bagi wisatawan mancanegara. Dengan keanekaragaman budaya menjadikan Indonesia juga memiliki keaneka macam makanan tersebar di seluruh pelosok negeri. Dengan jumlah penduduk yang besar dan budaya lokal yang ramah membuat wisatawan mancanegara senang, ditambah dengan banyaknya raga makanan kuliner yang bisa dirasakan. Inilah beberapa reaksi dari mereka yang menyukai makanan Indonesia, tetapi saya mengingatkan jangan lupa subscribe channel ini, Anda semua adalah orang baik. Terima kasih. In this video, I'm going to show you one of traditional Indonesian restaurant in Dubai. Indonesian food is my favorite. So let's go inside. I will show you more. So what we have here is nasi uduk. It's coconut rice with a fried chicken. Wow, look at this fried chicken. Look at this. God, crispy fried chicken. I love to try sambal. Sambal is chili sauce. Oh my God. Coconut rice is incredible. Fried chicken, crispy, juicy. One bite. The taste will take you to Indonesia. So next dish is migrant fried noodles with the chicken. Look at this. So next dish is ayam penne. It's pressed fried chicken and chili on top of this. So this is juices from chicken and chili. Look. Crispy skin, chicken, extra chili. That's it. What we have here is chicken sake. Greens to perfection. Make sure you add this to your list. Thank you for watching. Let me know where should I go next restaurant. Oh. It's not the I am. Not, this is chicken cooked over charcoal. It gives it a nice smoky flavor. And this one got some spicy peanut sauce all over it and got some fried onions. Mmm. Wow. The first thing I taste is the smoke. Fantastic. Give this a 10 out of 10. Men coba salatus makanan Indonesia hari ini coba mie ayam. Kamu mie ayam. Yeah. Mie ayam. Mie ayam. <laughs> mie ayam bisa pakai bakso. Bisa. Bisa. Okay, pakai bakso. Mie ayam dan bakso. Indian mie and Chinese mie are completely different. Chinese mie has many flavors. Hmm. Enak. Makan mie harus pakai panjang cabe karena saya suka pedas. Kita pedas. Saya benar-benar suka makan mie ayam. Toko ini tidak mahal, dua orang makan hanya empat puluh ribu. Enak. Lu kau seven, mie ayam seven. Enak. Hello. Apa ini? Bakso. Bakso. Okey. Berapa harganya? Dua puluh. Dua puluh. Bisa makan sini. Okay, satu porsi. Okay, tanpa saus ya. Okay, we get some noodles, white ones, yellow ones, with vegetables. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this huge meatball! Wow. <laughs> And a tofu on top. Okay, so we got the OG bakso. Someone told me to eat it without any sauces, so now we're get, trying it raw without anything. Of course, we got some chili sauce, but we're in Indonesia. Yeah. Okay, he's taking a picture. Okay. <laughs> bakso. <laughs> yeah, you don't say cheese here, you say bakso. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Yeah, this is the real meatball. Oh, see, I'm turning to hip up. Hip, uh, hip up. That means it was spicy. Mm. And the best part about this dish is that it's so filling. Look, it has noodles, meatballs, so full. So much protein. This is very nice. 10 out of 10. So we've made it to our next stop. We're having something called Ayam Penyet. So it's a fried chicken with a super spicy green chili sambal. And just look at the plate of sambal here. He's mixing up all these green chilies. I feel like calling that a mortar and pestle doesn't do it justice because it's the biggest pestle ever. Penyet kind of means like crushed a little bit, like squeeze. But the geprek, which is another famous one, that's completely smashed chicken. So it's slightly different. And the chili and the sambal mix is a little bit different as well. This one with garlic, right? With garlic, yeah. So we're gonna order some up. He completely smashes the chicken. You can either order with breast or thigh or whatever cut you want. They also have like eggplant and tofu, different things. And then it's just smeared with that green chili sambal. Very generous amount. I think it's gonna be spicy.
yeah, that is next level spicy. But it's garlicky, it's salty, so it's got tons of flavor in there too. Chicken's crispy, but man, that's got heat to it. Woo, look at how much chili is on this. We've got live music pretty much everywhere here. That's the type of spice that'll give you like a stomach ulcer. <laughs> you gotta be careful. She scoops it out. I love that spoon connected to a coconut. Mm. Oh. They choose the organs, they chop them up into bite sized pieces. Okay. Two spoons of the sambal. Oh, it's so deep in there. All oh, that broth. All about that broth of the choto. And then she. <laughs> and then. For broth, and they have 40 kinds of spices to it. 40 kinds of spices. All oh, that soup. How long does the soup boil for? About two hours. It's all about the organs here, and you can get champur, the mix of organs, or you can get some of their famous things like the tongue. And the, I think he was telling me the, the lungs here are one of the best organs you can get because they, they take special care, know how to make them. They choose the organs, they chop them up into bite-sized pieces, put them into the bowl. Then some leeks go in, some green leeks, and then some fried shallots or fried onions go on top. Then it's all about that broth, and that broth includes something like 40 different spices and herbs plus peanuts. That is the real deal, choto makasar. Come on. Okay. Yes. We mix the broth. Okay. I guess because it's my first time though, I'll yeah, taste the broth first before finish. before adding the, the ingredients. But okay, let's taste that. I love how murky that soup is. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's rich, right? Like. That broth is incredible. Blown away by the broth. And I love how it's meaty, but I think because of all those herbs and those spices. It's not, it doesn't feel oily. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for two, two spoons of the sambal. Oh. <laughs> Hit it with a squeeze of lime juice. Mix that around. It's like basically the entire cow in a single bowl. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, yes. With the sambal to give it some heat with the lime juice for that acidity. Yeah. And those organs, they're not rubbery at all. They're just so tender. They melt in your mouth. And I got a piece of the brain also, which is really creamy. <laughs> really creamy. <laughs> it's so good. Ketupat? Yeah, is that what it's called? Okay, next. And they're sliced diagonally so that you can conveniently pop them open like that. The sambal swipe. Here. Oh, God. There we go. And you can scoop in, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Scoop in. Oh, you can see how compressed that rice is. Very dense. And then go in with the broth. Broth, meat, organs all together. Oh. Mm. Oh, what a dish. Oh, man. It's so good. Yeah, really good. With really the rice. good. Once you start eating choto makasar, <laughs> no other soup will qualify with that much flavor. <laughs> And I love the way you eat this keto pot. Yes. Because our people like like to put in there, but it ruins the keto pot taste. Oh, okay. It, it gets so good. So in order to preserve the texture of the keto pot, yeah, you don't you don't dunk it all the way. You don't just dunk keep it. it with every bite, and yeah. then just keep keep submerging as you take a bite. Mm. Man. Oh, it's so good. Because if you put in. Uh, the ketupat too long there, they lost the fragrance of the pandan leaves. Oh, you can also really taste the flavor of the fermented soybeans in that sambal. Ah, it, it has this, yeah, it has this like nutty flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. A little nutty, a little fermented. Mm. Really, really good. That even enhances. That even there's. I mean, that makes it even more complex. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm loving every single bite of this. What a what a soup. <laughs> 